My name is John Craig Lee. I tested positive for the coronavirus on a cruise ship. So we were quite excited because uh, we were going to a place I hadn't been before and Larry was going to see his sister and uh, two nieces in Hong Kong on this trip. Our last port of call was Okinawa, which is an island in Japan. Uh, and when we were going to get off the ship, it took about an hour and a half for everyone to go through. They would take our temperatures, they took our fingerprints and our pictures, uh, which apparently is not uncommon. That night, uh, we were told that there had been someone who had tested positive, uh, and then the announcement was uh, that the Ministry of Health in Japan was going to take over and the boat had been quarantined. But as the days went on, uh, we would hear from the news on the TV before we heard from the captain what the new count was. Uh, and the count was going up all the time. Um, so we were getting really apprehensive of what was going on here. Uh, so they tested the 80-year-olds and anyone who tested positive, uh, they were taken off the ship and they were taken to a hospital in Japan. Then they started doing the 70 plus, and that's where I fit in. And then two days later, there was a knock at the stateroom door. A Japanese doctor was there, and he said, uh, John Lee, yes, um, you tested positive. Uh, you're going to be taken off the ship and put in a hospital. It was dark at night, it was six o'clock. Um, they had curtains on the buses and all the curtains were closed. We had our masks on. So finally at 7.30, the convoy left. And I say convoy because there were seven vehicles in it. Uh, there, were a police, there was a police car at the front with flashing lights, one at the back. There were three buses and there were two trailers with washrooms on. So after an hour and a half, we would stop and we would have a washroom break. And we had to use the washrooms and the trailers that we brought with us. We can't, couldn't use any public washrooms. So it was supposed to be five hours, but it was a nine hour bus trip. You know, through this whole thing, I was asymptomatic. I had nothing wrong with me. In fact, in the hospital, they would take your oxygen saturation point from your blood. And mine was always 96, seven and eight and nine. Uh, anything over 95 shows that there's no problem with the, the lungs, the respiratory system. So fortunately enough, uh, I got my two negatives after 16 days, not, not the two weeks, 16 days, um, I got my two negatives and I had a discharge from the hospital. It was just joyful. It was just wonderful to walk through the door. Uh, it was so unreal. The whole trip was so unreal. I couldn't imagine that finally I was home. Um, and all the groceries had been brought in and uh, my son had um, music playing, joyful music to welcome me home and there was food and all the lights in the house were on and uh, it was just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. Well, I, I think more than anything, you have to remain positive. You lose control, you have to put trust in people who are looking after your goodness. Uh, and, and the captain and Princess Cruises and the government, um, they all, and the, even the Ministry of Health uh, in Japan, they all looked after our goodness. We, we didn't want to spread this disease. Um, we went into the quarantine knowing that the, the greater community is going to be safe because we are uh, isolated from them. So you have to sort of look beyond who you are to what the greater need is in the community. Um, I mean, this is what this isolation is all about right now. Um, stay home. Um, and that's the way it's going to be beaten. And if people don't follow those rules, then it's going to last much longer and we'll pay much worse later on.